Monterey County, California. In the west, a crescent bay, rich in natural resources. Its cool marine layer is drawn to the eastern valley with famously deep and fertile soil surrounded by sharply rising mountains. Like most productive regions of the United States, Monterey County is a beacon of opportunity and the American dream, attracting laborers and entrepreneurs from around the world looking to harvest the bounty of the county. Japanese, Chinese, Portuguese, Mexican, and Italian immigrants made the county a world fishing and agricultural powerhouse. The Japanese owned the majority of the businesses on Old Fisherman's Wharf and revolutionized the abalone fishing industry with innovative helmet diving methods. War kept the canneries humming and the railroads packed though the community and the economy suffered with the forced internment of Japanese-American citizens. Basically in Japan we were uh, we were subsistence people, meaning that we grew what we ate. So that's what kind of existence my f family came from in Japan. Well, there was a, um, a series of, of natural disasters that wiped out a lot of the crops, you know, like wiped out a lot of the food. And so uh, uh, we were kind of literally almost starving to death over there, you know, in a very serious situation. So uh, I think at that time, the, the U.S. government, but, or say Cal, somebody was looking for labor to work in the, in the agricultural sector of California. So they saw that uh, this little group of people over there in Japan, which were doing very badly. Uh, Japan was uh, uh, right after the war, so the whole Japan, the whole cities all over Japan were just uh, nothing because of the bombardment. Bombs. In 1952, the U.S. government passed immigration reform that formally ended Asian exclusion. Yet it still allotted only nominal numbers of immigration quotas for Japan and the rest of Asia. The only obligation they had was they come here and they work in an agricultural facility for uh, X amount of years and then after that uh, they, they could do whatever they want, they, but they could stay in the country. So you know more. ただ仕事がないファーマーは仕事がない時があるんです。本当食べるだけだったりしよう。もう本当さ、あの、仕事がある時は忙しい、一生懸命だけどウィンターとかなんとかファーマーは
言うて裸一貫で来たんだからみんな何も持っていないんだって食べ物も持っていない何も持っていないここへ来て働いて食べさせてもらおうアメリカの知らない人何も知らないから無理来たらもう楽しみとか言おうっていうことはないんですよねただもう生きるために。After their work contracts ended, an enterprising group of men pooled their resources under the guidance of Yoshimi Shibata, a successful flower grower from Northern California. Prosperous Japanese American leaders were actively recruiting their countrymen to learn about this burgeoning industry in California. Ted's father, Zenichiro Uchida, was an important leader in this movement. His speech always included make sure you, have, you, you work hard, you build your Asset, build your castle, and make sure you have your kids go to great schools and great education, become a lawyer, doctors, CPAs, businessmen, you know, leader of the community, and part of the American dream, part of the American middle and upper class. And that's what he's preached was to become part of the America, part of the great American dream. やっぱりギブアップしないということが一番インポーテンなんでも<笑>と思います。<笑>でまあ日本人ねここへ来てあのこの国に住ましてもらってまああのユナデステとあのミステイクじゃなかったと思われたいから<笑>子供やら孫ね。ちゃんとやあの、まあ、迷惑がかからないようにしてもらいたい<笑>自分は農家で育ってから農業をするつもりで来たんですご両親はあうちの親たちが僕が一番下だったもんだから節子だったもんだから少しは反対したけどもうで僕の意思で来たんですその夢は一生懸命仕事をして儲かることだったね<笑>アメリカに来た時はもうでも素晴らしいとも思いました。はい。And they chose the Salinas Valley just because of the weather. My dad said that they looked all over, you know, California, and this was the ideal place. And I guess the land was fairly inexpensive too. And the reason why they went into flowers was because they can purchase the least amount of land for the maximum amount of profit. So they told their cousins or relatives in Japan, and they. They were a sponsor to bring them over to the United States. And um, they kind of bought land in a certain area, like certain streets, like Fuji Lane. You know, that we all had a common、um, connection back in Japan that the parents did. And so they, you know, they, they entrusted each other.、So. It's the weather. The Salinas, is, the weather is、um, very、uh, mild in the summer and mild in the winter. We don't have that. Freezing winter, you know,、uh, the snow, and, and the flowers don't like hot weather.、Uh, so we're in a very unique area where the, the, we get that, the breeze from the ocean, and it really helps. The Japanese, I think, had very good worth ethics,、um, and they were willing to put in the work. And plus, I think、uh, that sort of agricultural flower thing is kind of,、uh, uh, you know, it's kind of. Japanese, I guess, is it? <laughs> With land and bold ideas in place, arranged marriages were organized to start families and build their community. <laughs> すごい親戚だから、もう会ってはなかったけど、あのうちの親も知ってるし、そのね、半島嫌な愛して知ってたから、だからそれを信用してきた。長男なんです。緊張もあんましなかったね。楽しみ。花<笑>よ<笑>。その間ね、あのあの手紙やれしたりしてなったんだけど。
わあ<笑>いやいい人だと思いましたよ<笑>あの悲しいもうこれ忘れることできないんだけどアメリカに来て親,親から離れてきたというのをもう逃げようと思ってあの<笑>何回か逃げようと思ったけどドライブもできないし何して。どこへ行けばいいのかもわからない。それはね。そして日本日本ではグッバイスあのもう帰ってこない自由でかい来て大きなパーティーをしてくれてこっち来ていたから帰れなかったのね。そしあの手血もどんなして買うかわからないしね。そうまあユユナイテッドステートに。を見たら本当にびっくりしてナイスかんあの国と思ったけどあの<笑> Man, you know they, they were tough. Even the moms, I mean the moms are really tough. The fact that you know not only are they working in the greenhouse or taking care of the families compared to the current generation, I I, I think we're soft. 本当にね女の方は大変なんですよ。グリーン仕事もしなくちゃいけない、家のこともしなくちゃいけない、子供もいなくちゃいけない。四人で作ったのよ。いや、プラグミだったけど使って、うん、は乗ったよ、ハウスの上に。うん、一生懸命だったね。仕事せんけ食べていけないから。え、そして、そしてまあこんなの日本のね人が見たらどうするかなと思って。ああ人に見せたくなかったねああどのくらい続いたかね働きにをほらやよと雇って雇うまでが4人でしたからハッピーやね<笑>誰も干渉しないでしょ自分たちだから働けばもう自分のものレジしたりするな。I remember, you know, like when you have one guy that would start up a, a new greenhouse, because back then it, it was all wood. You know, the, the whole flower community, they would just all come out. You'd have maybe about 50 guys there or whatever. And then, I mean, we, you know, we whipped out like 40,000 square feet of greenhouses in just one day. Because, you know, everybody's helping. And then that guy, you know, he'd have like a barbecue. And afterwards, you know, after we, we set up the framework, I mean, it, you know, it was great. It was, uh, yeah, I really liked those days. The, the street that we lived on, um, everyone was one big happy family. And I kind of、um, parallel it to like an Amish community, because when we had greenhouses, everyone would come out and help out and put up the greenhouses and, you know, have food afterwards or whatever. I felt sorry for them sometimes when I was growing up that they had to work so hard, but I was impressed too because they weren't. They came here, they can't speak English, they didn't understand the rules, the laws, but they made it and they, and they were very successful. I mean, not only my parents, but every flower girl are out here. It was really fun and fun. The flowers are growing up. It's fun to see the flowers come out, it's money. It's really fun. 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 その花がまあ土地が新しいからもう出て出てねもうすごいんですよ花が
。ハードね、わあの知らないことでしょ。隣ネクス交代でねずっと仕事して回って、そしてそうねあの六ヶ月経った頃だったですね。少しこのあ花あの。カーネーションも大きくなってあ今から楽しみだなと思って言う,言う矢先にほら。Yeah, very practical, practical life. We rarely had people come out and fix things. We usually try to do things ourselves first. And you know, if you do it yourself, then you can learn if it breaks down again, you can fix it. だんだん大きくなるとなんかやっぱ壁がありますね。それをどうしても乗り越えてしまうから。もう自分たちはもう乗った船だからもうギブアップしてはダメって,ってなんとかそれを乗り,乗り越えていくみたいな何回も<笑>主人があの壊せにかかって入院7週間したでしょそしてもう夜も昼もないのよねで子供まだ小さいしだからあこのままで行かれたらどうしようかってすごく思いましたねだから子供小さいし借金抱えるしどうしようかと思ってねでも夜も昼もなかったですよねでもその時に私は少し強くなりました<笑> You know we're a small business had to do everything Uh, my parents weren't able to speak English, so I started selling flowers. I think when I was about 12, and you know that that was one of the jobs. But we had to do other things: bunch flowers. We even had to spray. I'd spray、uh, pesticides in the greenhouse when we were little kids.、Uh, pick weeds, rake. I mean everything. We had to do construction. Later on,、uh, I, we started doing all the electrical and the plumbing ourselves, just to save money. Did everything. We, we did everything. Plumbing, electrical,、uh, the bookkeeping, the sales,、uh, even the oil change—you know, change the oil, drive the tractor.、Uh, it was just everything. We had to do everything. <laughs> as as when I was、um, probably about seven or eight years old, I was tall enough to get to reach the tables to bunch flowers. My sister and I—you know—it was kind of expected of us. So we really, you know, we complained a lot, but we did it, <laughs> and so did everybody else. So you, it wasn't out of the ordinary. I thought it was. It was tough. It was unfair. I mean, because you know, my friends in town, they go, "Hey, Glenn, you know, what do you want to do? You want to do something this weekend?" And they're doing the, you know, checking out movies or doing this and that. Yeah, you're out there working. So, but you know, did it help me in the future? Yeah, I think it did because, I, you know, I don't mind working. You know, if it's something needs to get done, you know, well, heck, you just do it. Like on the certain street that you lived on, we're kind of like. Extended families, so there's always someone to hang out with, you know, friends.、So、that was a lot of fun. Some days I just didn't want to work, and I would, you know, there's been days I just take off, <laughs> but I didn't have anywhere to go because the other kids were working themselves. Oh yeah, it was nothing but work for us. <laughs> it was not fun. It was work, you know. Do this, do that. Paint a lot of wood. We painted a lot of wood. We, you know, all that stuff. It was. We were down here on a camping trip. <laughs> the everlasting memory was、uh, getting ready for the truck in the morning and staying up all night, bunching flowers all night, so we could be ready for the truck at 7:30 in the morning. Because there was there was no hired help. It was just you know the family. I really like doing it now. I mean, I really like doing it now. I, I feel right now my worth ethics are very good. So you know, and that I attribute to my dad. We just did it. We would work seven, maybe eight, nine o'clock at night, and then afterwards we would get together with my neighbors,、We'd、be playing basketball, wiffle ball. This is at ten, eleven o'clock at night. We would get together and play because we couldn't play during the day. We had to work, especially the, during the summertime. All of us did.
another reason for the speed and the how fast it, 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 it developed is because they were young in the 20s and 30s, just starting their, their family, and the market was the perfect market, and growing condition was perfect. Um, Selene has controlled like 75% of the carnation market in the nation here. Lettuce was number one and flour was number two. So it was huge back then, in the 70s and 80s. Everybody worked hard, everybody uh, and made money back then. ちょっとでも、あの、